Okay, so in this question, a cell of EMF 4 volt and negligible internal resistance is connected to three resistors as shown. Two resistors of resistance to ohm are connected in parallel and are in series with the resistor of resistance 1 ohm. Okay, as shown in the diagram. So what power is dissipated in one of the two ohm resistors and in the whole circuit? Okay, so we know that the formula that we use for power is I square R and the other formulas are P is equal to VI. So this formula is used to find the power supplied by battery. But when we are concentrating on like individual resistances, so we would be using I square R. So in this case, first of all, let us find the R equivalent. So this R1 and R2, let us say both of them are in parallel. So 1 by RP is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, which is 1. So the resistance RP is 1. So there is this resistance, those who are in parallel, the R equivalent becomes 1. And later it is in series with 1 ohm again. So both of them are in series now. So what is the R series? 1 plus 1, that is 2 ohm. So 2 ohm is the total resistance, that is R equivalent. I can say so 4 volt is the battery that is applied so what is the current now so we can say the current is V is equal to IR Just a the voltage is 4 and the resistance is 2 this is I so it is coming out to be 2 ampere so 2 ampere is the current that moves from this now to find the power dissipated in the whole circuit, because that is easier, so we are doing this first. So what we can do is we can either find the total power supplied by the battery and we can also find the total power consumed by R equivalent. In both of the ways I am going to do it. So first we are going to apply P is equal to VI. So the voltage is 4 and the current coming out of the battery is 2. So 8 watt is your answer. So specifically C and D, we would be having answer in C and D. Now, the, in the second method, what we do is P is equal to I square R. Let us do it and see. Now, what is the current? 2. 2 square multiply by R means R equivalent. So R equivalent is 2. Again, multiplying by 2 and we get the answer 8 volt, 8 watt. So it means 8 volt is the power that is given by the battery, which is equal to the total power dissipated in the resistance in the circuit so both of them are obviously equal to each other so our answer is 8 volt now we are going to concentrate on the power consumed by this 2 ohm resistance now how can we do that for this purpose we have to first of all allocate the crunch in both of the branches and then we will apply i square r so 2 ampere is the current that is coming here and because this resistance and this resistance, they both are equal. So at once only, we jump to the conclusion that current will be divided into two equally. So how much current will go here? One ampere and here one ampere. So what will be the power? I square R. So one ampere into the resistance is two. So it is going to be two watt. Well, there we go. D is the correct answer. This is two watt. And at this juncture, I am going to tell you one more formula which would be useful for you. Uh, till now, our question is done. The answer is D. Now, a very small formula. Please do note it. Let us say I current is coming into the circuit. And this current is I1. This current is I2. This is R1 and R2. And they are not equal to each other. Because they were equal to each other, we knew that the current will be dividing itself into two equal parts. But otherwise, I1 will be equal to R2 into I divided by R1 plus R2. And I2 is given by R1 into I R1 plus R2. So if the resistances are not equal, so we have to use these formulas to find the value of I1 and I2. And then we can proceed. I1 square into R1, I2 square into R2 will be the powers. So with this, all the best. Bye.